So give a big round of applause for Abel Torres. It was my first time at, um, at Saturday school, and I was ready to go. I had Saturday school because um, I was using the computer at my other school for non, non-educational purposes. <laughs> <laughs> and well, after that, you know, I think it's gonna be a breeze and all that because it's, it's Saturday school. like. It's Saturday, you wake up, There's, most of my friends were in the class, so I was, I was really happy. And well, I'm, I'm all sued up in my Lakers gear and all of that. This was before they lost, and well, like, I'm like walking in there. The teacher, her, she's facing the class, and I, I walk in through like the back door, I guess you could say. And well, she's, she's pretty tall, like, she's Mexican, like that's tall for being Mexican. And like, well, and I see the class, the windows are open, like, there's not really any lights on, it's all sunlight, natural light, and the room is really big, like, there's like probably 12 kids in the class, it's really big, and, well, like, they're all spread out so they don't talk, right? Well, there's construction going on, and, and I like, so it's hard to hear, so I walk by the teacher, I say, hey, what's up? And then she's like, excuse me, young man, where's your uniform? And then I said, I didn't, I didn't know that we had to wear uniform. It's my first time at Saturday school. And then after that, like, she's like, well, have a seat then. And then, you know, I just went to go take a seat. Didn't want to give her trouble. Um, well, the tables are really long, like super long. And well, well like there's a lot of stairs t- stacked on top of there. I just asked, I just need to use one chair, right? So, and she asked me to unstack the whole, the whole table. And I'm like, I'm like, uh-uh, and then. And then, well, like, after that, I didn't want to hassle her because, like, she looks pretty, like, mean. And, well, so I just, I took them down. While I'm taking them down, I just take a seat after. And I see her just, like, with her hands behind her back, staring at kids, like, giving, her the, giving them the look, trying to get them in trouble, like, for the smallest things you could think of. And after that, well, she starts saying that we're, like, failures and nothing but, like, losers and stuff. And like, she's saying like, you guys do bad. And then like, after that, like, that was a deciding moment. Like, I knew I had to stand up for us. And after that, well, I just told her she shouldn't be talking like that about us because she doesn't even give us a chance to speak up or nothing. So yeah, I had to tell her. And after that, she raises her voice. She says, you have no right to, to yell, at, to, to argue with me like that. And then I stand up out of my chair. I say, yeah, I do, because you don't really know us, and you don't let us speak for ourselves. And after that, she you knows. She calls the principal, and the principal comes in. I live in Alhambra, which is mainly an Asian community. I see, like, this little Asian lady coming in, like, the size of the mic. And, like, well, she's all nice and innocent, and she's all cute. And, like, you could tell that English wasn't her first language, right? So she walks in. And she's like, what are you doing, young man? I heard you were yelling at the teacher. I'm like, yeah, I was. And, I, and then she, the teacher's like, yeah, he was giving me lip. And then I said, I said, I wasn't giving her lip. She was just trying to argue with me. Like, she was saying we we're failures and all that, like saying discouraging things. And then after that, I, I, I just explained to her. And then the teacher after that, she, she admitted to saying that, but like she didn't feel like, she didn't feel confident when she was saying that. So like she kind of backed down and well, the principal told me to go, go um, take my seat. So I wanted to go take my seat, right? I see all the kids looking at me, most of the kids from my school. I'd be giving them high fives. <laughs> and they're like, you did good and stuff. Well, I just sit in my seat and well, she just left me alone for the rest of the day. And one thing I learned, like how I changed from when I stood up to her, um, I learned that like, before, I'm usually, because I'm usually a kid that will stand up to bullies and stuff, like I don't take nothing. And well, like to other kids, stand up for myself or others, my peers. But when it comes to like an adult, it takes like a lot more. So I learned how to stand up to adults. And well, I felt like a hero after that. And um, thank you. Come on, he's a hero. Come on, he's a hero. More than that. Abel. 
That is great.